Hi, right, welcome back, Richard Painter. Um, Red MG. Yeah. Uh, trying to think where we left it last time. We we'd fitted the Sebring kit, or parts of it, and we was talking about cleaning out uh, the T piece along the back. Uh, reason for it is we don't know what's underneath it, and this is a prime example. You see all the different layers. What ends up happening is it ends up bridging over, and you end up with, rather than a straight line, you end up with like a big half moon, if you like. Then you build up loads and loads and loads of layers in there. It ends up really thick, it looks disgusting. And you can always tell if a car's been repainted loads of times, because that's normally the telltale sign. Um, so, which is why we cleaned them all out. And then just feather them out as normal. See on there. Not so bad this side, this side's only had one lot of paint. But by the time we've put our primer back on there, our paint back on there, our clear coat on there, it'll end up bridging again. So, that's why we've done that. Starting to look a bit better now. <coughs> yeah, just thought I'd show you them to start with. We'll get the front organised and then we'll join you back on this video. Hi, welcome back. I'm Richard Painter. Um, thank you for all the uh, interest and subscribers and everything like that for the last one. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, if you like this video, can you give us a thumbs up and a subscribe? That'd be good of you. Right now, we've got all that out of the way with. So, we're back on with the. Um, he says, MG in this video. Can you see me? Yeah, just. Um, red MG. MGB. We'll get there in a minute, won't we? Roadster. So uh, this one's going tart and red. You might have already seen, depending on which way the videos go around, you might have already seen the balances getting fitted and uh, some messing around that we was doing on the ramp, tidying stuff up. Um, I didn't get a chance to film the primer process. Um, just a very busy day and um, just didn't work out unfortunately. So. so We'll see in a minute anyway, so now we're at paint stage, so we've skipped a stage for, as far as you're, you lot are concerned. So we'll go back in there, you'll see it's in primer. So we've remasked everything, cleaned everything numerous times, we've had a bit of a silicon problem, uh, which we've hopefully overcome now. Um, so we need to get some paint mixed up and, and get that applied. So as normal, I'll show you the colour, show you what we're doing. Um, I'll have a fly around put a coat on so you can see kind of what we're doing um, and then I'll come back and have a look at the clear coat and stuff like that afterwards so um, tartan red had quite a few MG's this year so far haven't we what we had uh, teal blue um, the black tulip purple one now we've got a red one there's a yellow one in the books somewhere down the line, but I think that's September, October time, I think, something like that. So that'll be at least four this year. So uh, Right, so tartan red. So we're going base coat and clear coat with this one because customer wants better finish. Um, doing it this way does cost more, it's more in materials, more prep work involved, longer time in the booth, longer to um, paint etc. Um, but the finished product always has a lot better gloss level, um, looks like there's more depth to the paint afterwards. Even though it's a solid colour it still looks noticeably different so um, it is a better option I think but depending on the car I mean you can very quickly um, 
add you know 500 to a thousand quid in materials uh, extra labor as well you know you can very quickly start start knocking a bill up but the job's far better at the end of it so personally I think it's worth it and I always tell customers if you can't afford it at the minute wait a couple of months and then sort of book it in there if you can some customers want the traditional look and they'll paint it in 2k anyway um, and the last two that we've done have been painted in 2k because that's what the customer wanted um, so which is why we've done it that way so but this one wants it basically so um, yeah so I've shown you the paint I'll show you again I'm going to get it mixed up now so basically this is um, because it's classic being my battery's nearly dead so I have to be quick we can use solvent on this one solvent base coat with it being a classic car uh, we're just going to use our normal hard cups again with liners mix it two to one I just knock that back a little bit more so we have a little bit more paint less than a uh, I'm using a medium fast uh, thinner if anybody's interested in that stuff that's basically to give it a chance to flow out but dry in a sensible amount of time we're not painting silver or anything like that so it's not massively important but it's it, it lays down a bit nicer to be honest so. um, that's my opinion anyway uh, right so I'll get this mixed up and I'll see you back in the booth I've got to change my battery bye for now
red now. Nearly matches my face by the looks of it on this camera. Uh, so we're going to tackle off it now. Make sure there's no dust on it. We've got the clear coat mixed. We'll start putting the clear coat on.
Right, got it all painted finally. Absolutely cooking. Let's have a nosy. Uh, so on the camera, because I've already had a quick nosy, looks a tad orangey, but it's definitely, definitely red. Um, so yeah, we've got about six coats of base on it, which is the red. Then we've got two nice wet layers of our Amoeba Clear coat. Um, so yeah, I'll just walk you in. You have a nosy. So I haven't turned out too bad, to be honest. Not that I'm sounding, not that I'm sounding surprised. It's because we had so much silicon as an issue. I think we've got about three or four dots, which I can deal with very, very quickly. So considering how much we had, it's like really, really good. So uh, just let me show that a minute. Let's so see what we're doing. Um, yeah, what well, you're in the front. Right, hopefully that gives you a rough idea anyway. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to let that sit overnight now. I'm not going to bake it because there's absolutely no need for me to bake it. It can sit and flow out nicely. There's a lot of solvent on there, so we want to let that evaporate on its own accord rather than force anything. Um, various primers, six layers of base coat two layers of clear coat so there's quite a lot of layers on there that we need to let evaporate out nicely because we don't want anything um any issues down the road so um yeah so door shuts and everything like that are done as well just to freshen them up we've just uh you must have seen on the video anyway but you can see they're all painted just to keep everything fresh Everything looks kind of new then, if you like, from the uh, from the outside. So basically, what we're going to do now, um, like I said, is let that dry. We're going to leave the doors open as well. It looks like that. Reason for leaving the doors on is purely for convenience. The door gaps are very, very good. Everything else is very clean. The doors are completely stripped and cleaned out anyway. Um, yes, ordinarily I would do them separate, but because everything was so nice and just didn't need to really on this one, which is unusual. Normally we have to take everything off, so um, that's one less job tomorrow, putting the doors back on and getting them out of the way. So now what we're going to do um, is prep the bonnet, boot lid, both the balances. Uh, and then we'll get them painted in the next video because we're also doing quite a few other bits and pieces that might just be more of a painting video but we'll see what happens with that basically they've had um, some repairs on them high build primer I can't remember what I've recorded what I haven't recorded um, so yeah by the time we get them in here they'll just be in primer again so then we've got basically another paint day We'll get them painted, we can get it back together. We can get the flat polishing, make it look nice and pretty and shiny. Deal with them couple of bits of silicon on the front there. There's only about seven or eight like, little bits, so that's easy, easily dealt with. Um, yeah, and then for me it'll be, in a couple of days time, we'll be doing that. For you it'll be, Maybe a couple of weeks. I've tried to keep the videos a couple of weeks um, in advance. Numerous reasons. Just keeps it easy and I can keep. So we're not doing huge, great, big hour long videos of me waffling on no end like I'm doing now. So that's why we do that. So a quick cheeky peek. 
and I'll catch you on the next one. If you like, if you like the video, give us a like, subscribe, share and all that wonderful stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.